Tuska. <laughs> oh, it's actually not a bad Hoska game. I Go at the moment. Ursa is without that vulnerable. He's gonna try and fight back. Gabby's gonna respect the Fury swipe spot. Once the spells are back up. See the boy said he's there from Blacklist. They might even turn to a bang too. Big rotation. Just as Cuckoo hits level six, Tins comes down. They might. If they get a bat palace, is, is hunting. They're hunting. They got Stampede. They're just asking for some assistance and. Do Radiant wants their power? Oh, but. Again, they miss on the inner fire. Selenay smiles upon me. Actually, your, your biggest vulnerability now. Cuckoo wants to use this level 6. You. You're trying to slow Palace down. Bushwhack connects with the arrow. Have they got the damage, though, is the big question they do. Okay. Very nicely done. Perfect timing of the arrow. And now MJZ is not going to be able to escape as well. That Storm Panda will eventually catch up. Wow. Solo. Uh, they're just crumbling across the map. This is a great sequence of events for Darling. You get two big kills. Oh God, bottom lane. Jax thinks Radiant's bottom tower is about to fall. He's wrong. Another kill mid lane as well. They could probably play with their strongest hero. If they're looking for Radiant's And they're going to reward him. They might be able to take some stacks as well. Abed will get the regen. Sorry, yeah, Ursa top lane actually. Let's get dived into the tower though. No Corona required. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Jex thinks Radiant's bottom tower is about to fall. Dyer's top tower is about to fall. He's in a lot of trouble though. And yeah, they're gonna be able to blow him up. Jinx. Nothing he can do is he's gonna be killed up too. So these are some gigantic kills for Arbor to get. A double kill for the puck in the mid lane. Maybe even looking for more as well. They still got the coil in the arsenal. A turn to the Muran next. A triple for Arbed. And this is just he's got a regen too, so he's going straight down to bottom to I'm always so worried about this. <laughs> Tower. From Gabby. Blacklist. Oh, oh God. that is so that's what I'm worried about. Like well, I'm... No way. Can they? Maybe they can. out of the pit as well. It wasn't like he got bunched inside. Sorry, Jax, I don't know if the stories are true. That middle tower full? Dyer's top tower has some radiant shape. Swing and a miss with the arrow. MJZ making a lot of space, though. Gabby and Tim's are moving down. Got a TP ready on our bed. He's going to join the boys as well. This is going to be a Radiance fight from Cuckoo. Will he not... Will I not expect the reactions? And they could probably be able to blow him up before he gets a Primal Split off. And that will be the case. Will it? A little bit more damage. They'll get him. Again, another fight where Cuckoo's brewmaster just cannot play with his ultimate. They won't... Good bottom. Corner. Uh, it's, uh, it's just. They still haven't opened this tower up, man.
Radiant's getting friendly with Dire Honey Friends. Do a lot once he gets these items. And they're even jumping Huskar under a Tichu Tower. This is crazy. Headbutt. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, never mind. No opening. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Is it just a bit of poke? Oh, he does have Jinx starting to move down bottom. They're actually going to jump the coil. Nice pushback. Stops the freezing field, which should give an opportunity for the split to come out. Oh, they don't see Tim's. This goddamn Grimstroke, and that is exactly what you brought up in the draft. The Phantom's Embrace is such an issue for this hero, and Puck is godlike 19 minutes in when he got bodied versus the Husker. This is the one person that cannot die. If you have a hope of coming back in this game, you've got to keep the bear alive. And with the Chrono arriving from Palos, apparently Arrow just ended inside the Centaur's body as well. And well, they're going to be able to find Jinx at the trees. They're going to look for more. Huskar is not at the stage anymore where he is a threat. And we could be looking at the stage where there's a couple letters going to be dropped pretty soon. Are you going to use the split? You will this time. That feels just almost as bad as dying. Oh, yes. That's 90, 96 probability, man. And yeah, you're right, it's let's go again. There's an intro on Gabby, but apparently that doesn't matter at this stage of the game. Radiant structures are fortified. Is Gaia going to let that middle tower fall? Radiant are scary friends. Ah, Fuku as well. Bash, this. Stampy forward wing. Oh, that's a statement one. No one is safe. Oh, they're not going to be able to find the initiation they're desiring. Cuckoo. He's, he's not worried about getting silenced. Man, Blacklist respecting. Touch anyone. But now we're here. Oh let's go game three. Yeah, let's uh, let's ride this off. Oh, wait, is it? <laughs> Jump these. Lucky, uh, lucky some of them were already DC. But, uh, I, dude, this fell apart with that Oscar dying at Roche.